first met Renee Clark um, at Active NZ. When she walked in and I was introduced to her and that she only had partial sight, I was probably a little bit negative and with a room full of people that had never been on gravity, um, I thought there's no way this woman's going to be able to work on gravity. Um, fell and knocked her and herself and got on the machine and tried her very best and then I got a phone call after this particular convention asking if I was prepared to put uh, her into some training. thought well maybe I should be able to to do this, what a challenge. I introduced her to the machine and basically told her I'm going to do you no favours. She knew the names of the exercises in the machine, she basically told me she didn't want any favours so we went to work. So again that's just something that you can do to show them that you've got control of it because they may think she can't see what's happening so you can go back and see what's happening. So again remember have the fun, <laughs> yeah. you've got to have the fun with them and they have to know that it doesn't matter that you can't see. But she impressed me with probably knew the most about the manuals that I ever had with a personal trainer that had ever come to train with me. Once I realised where she could see, I asked her to use that so she was um, not clumsy with the machine and to use the client's eyes and use a lot of tactile. We just started working through exercises, manuals, case studies and think how it should look in your mind and correct them and you need to remember they're paying you money so there can be no downtime. And she, every time she thought that wasn't good enough, she goes, can we do that again, can we do that again? And she was better than probably 80% of anyone I trained. She, she nailed it. So Renee, how long have you been running your gravity studio? One and a half years. And how's it been going for you? Really well. So how do you overcome any challenges when you're using gravity? Um, I give lots of verbal cues and I also, if I'm not sure if they're doing something quite correctly, I may ask questions about where they're feeling it. If I do a lot of more verbal cueing and make sure that they're looking after themselves. Where do you see gravity going for you? What, what do you think the future of gravity is for you? Yeah, I think more of, I can just carry on and learning more repertoire, I think is quite important. Just thinking creatively and I like being able to work in three planes of motion. It's not just like in a lot of gym equipment, it's just one like plane. Okay. Whereas gravity, you can go to the side and use it. She has a passion for gravity, passion to succeed, and her eyesight is not a disability for her. In fact, she uses it um, to make her unique. I believe she can be an extremely successful trainer and to be an extremely successful blind trainer is unique and she deserves it. And you're going to roll yourself down. Make sure your heels tucked under and place your feet on the bottom edge. Then your palms are by your sides and you're going to take them right by your feet. And you're going to draw them back down towards your hips, engaging the muscles around your shoulders. Like most trainers either just disappear and don't use it or just do the bare minimum. Renee has stayed in contact with me on a regular basis. Any question mark, any problem, any case study, how can I get this done, how can I help them more, what should I say with this. Renee is actively trying to increase her knowledge with gravity, increase her knowledge with personal training, increase, increase her ability to give clients value for money on the gravity machine every time she trains. And I think anyone that is uh, in her presence and trains with her is uh, blessed to have someone with that passion because she will definitely be doing it to further the client, not for monetary benefit. 
And as my father always said, anyone standing still is going backwards. Renee's never standing still, always looking forward to, and going forward.